What's up guys? So we got some big news from Arc World here today. Finally, they gave us some information um, about what's kind of going on in the background here. So the big news today was there's a beginner's package sale that is going to happen. So they said this is going to start on the 22nd. So limited production, uh, Arc World's beginner's package, blessings and wishes from the goddess of hereafter. And so then they give us a little bit more information. It's already been over two weeks since we introduced Arc World to everywhere. In the meantime, the Arc World team has not only been responding to real time issues, but also analyzed detailed data and closely examined statistics indicators for the current in game status. We believe that in order for Arc World to be profitable in the long term, promoting influx of newcomers and expansion of the base should be prioritized of all. So we conclude that it is important to increase the convenience and accessible of new users and increase the land rental activation rates. As a solution to this, in addition to fundamental improvements in the system, we plan to succinctly, sequentially disclose and proceed with promotions and land NFT airdrop events. First of all, we would like to inform you about the first step in the beginning package sale. So after 22, 922 maintenance, and then it's gonna go all the way to 1027 maintenance, so approximately five weeks, they are gonna be selling 10,000 packages. They're gonna cost $30 each. You can buy three per account. And in the package, it's going to have 10 gold coin purses times five. You're also gonna get 50 bound hereafter stones, and then they're gonna give out 60 BSLT which means they're pricing the BSLT at approximately 50 cents. So this bonus BSLT and product item coupons are paid to the account immediately upon purchase. So purchase cancellation or refunds is not possible. If the prepared quantity is exhaust, the sale may end early. Then it says the land NFT airdrop event is being prepared with both existing NFT holders and new users can receive benefits. So please look forward to it and we ask for your attention and interest. Thank you. So, lot to digest here. They're selling a new beginner's pack and they say that they're doing this to get new players because obviously new players aren't coming into the game in the amounts that they want. And also the people that are joining Arcworld or just being 100% free to play and not you know, buying the cryptocurrency off of the exchange, the Bora exchange. So there's a lot of hoops to jump through, a lot of crypto swaps and interaction that you need to do to buy the BSLT. So there's, you know, I think there's about a thousand holders right now of BSLT. So that's a pretty small amount of people that is holding. It's up from about 400, 500 of the NFT holders that they had before. And so I don't think that also that thousand holders takes into account the people that have BSLT in game. I believe it's only once you've withdrawn it from your actual account into your like kind of hard wallet. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to find more research on that, but uh, still a thousand people with BSLT, whether it's in game or not, is still a low amount of people. And they obviously want to increase that number. So they're allowing people to buy this package from them on their website. So it's gonna be here in the website. So arcworld.com is gonna be where you purchase this and they are gonna allow credit cards to be used once again. So this is a really, really bad thing in my opinion because they are now setting the price at 50 cents for BSLT, which that's a reasonably price. That's you know quite high. I, I personally don't believe that BSLT should be that high, but that's what they're saying. You know, the current BSLT price is, let's take a look at it. It's currently at 55 cents right now. So this is actually a slight discount. So if you are gonna be buying this, you're gonna get a you know 10% discount approximately. You also don't have to go through all the crypto swaps and everything to get the BSLTs. On the downside, this is gonna cause a lot of credit card fraud and chargebacks. So the American players are notorious for this. So are gamers in general. Gamers are very, very uh, you know, notorious for charging back on their credit cards and, and you know, saying they didn't get what they want or didn't get what they expected or whatever, just causing complaints and issues. So we're gonna see a lot of fraud here. We're gonna see a lot of people that are gonna get this stuff 
And then the easiest way for them to make money, especially the really, really bad people, like the gold sellers, you know, the, the illegal gold sellers that are trying to just farm and just break the games, what they're probably gonna do is they're gonna take stolen credit cards, they're gonna use the stolen credit cards, uh, purchase three X of these, uh, these, you know, BSLT drops, so 180 BSLT per account, and then they're gonna move them all to one account so that they can withdraw them because you need 200 BSLT to withdraw the money from the account. And so they'll do that, they'll transfer it to the auction house, they'll withdraw all the BSLT, and then they will cash that out. So in theory, I think they are gonna essentially crash this price way below 50 cents. So I think in about a week or two, we'll see probably BSLT about maybe 35 cents or so, give or take, right around there. So that's my guess on what's gonna happen with this. Uh, in the beginning, this is gonna be a really, really good value. The BSLT right now is 55 cents, so if you buy this, you're saving you know, a little bit of money. And it's also way easier to buy it like this rather than to go to the crypto swaps or rather than to pay all the transfer fees that you have to do with all the fees and transactions in crypto. Uh, so like, it, it's a great value, right? Credit card, boom, done, simple, easy, Visa, MasterCard, go, play the game. And the amount that they're giving you too, 60 BSLT is perfect for the new ARC Pass. They gave out a new ARC Pass that is 50 BSLT, so which means you still have 10 BSLT left over to buy skills, to buy weapons, armor, and things like that, so you can progress you know, rapidly in the game. If you're a brand new player, this is a great package, right now at least, with the current BSLT prices. Even, so I've talked about this in Discord, even if the price goes down to say like 40 cents for BSLT, I think this package selling you know, $30 BSLT for 60 BSLT or 60 BSLT for 30 bucks via credit card is actually a good thing for the longevity of the game, like they said, because you want people to come in and just easily be able to play the game. You can, it is free to play. You can play the game for free, but there's like paywalls, essentially. You get to a point where like you can't progress anymore and you need to put money into the game. Sure, you can you know, get lucky and get drops and things like that, but you'll be stuck. You won't have really any labor. You won't have any really Archeum. Your character will get really, really stuck and it just won't be fun. And that's by design. So it forces you to actually put some money into the game. It's like, I wanna say it's like a free trial, but it's, it's way better than a free trial because you can literally do everything in the game but you're just going to get stuck at a certain point. So it's like it's like playing a, an RPG game and you're like, cool, I can play. The, the level cap is 100. So you play and then you get stuck at level 50. And then it's like, well, I can't get to 51. Well, you technically can, but you just got to grind for years upon years. And then like the paying players, they get to, you know, level 75. And you're like, man, no fair, no fair. I'm 50, they're 75. And it's true. It's not fair, right? Like games aren't fair they paid they're going to get ahead uh, so now you got the more free players that are going to be whining about pay to win and everyone here should be already aware that arc world is pay to win like that's the premise behind this game and this server it's like it's designed for whales the more you pay the stronger you're going to be and everyone knew this coming into the game like you can literally buy and sell anything so there shouldn't be any whining or complaining free to play players will be left behind and if you're not okay with that, don't play this game. Like that's what it comes down to. This is a pay to win server and you will be stronger. Does that mean that the absolute strongest person in the server, uh, you know, is the one who paid the most? Mm, yes and no, maybe by gear score wise. So the absolute strongest player on the server gear score wise will be the one who paid the most, but does that mean you can beat them or you can't beat them in a battle? No, you can still beat them. Like there's a lot of skill and factors. One of the coolest things too is if we go over here to arcworldreddit.com uh, or Reddit Arcworld, there's actually a hilarious post about the number one player, uh, Arcworld biggest Chinese mega whale, Ganama, uh, scolding pug raids. And so there's actually a video here of him recorded I guess, whining and complaining that he can't kill bosses and things like that. And so here's a translation. I'm a member of the Just Guild. Due to the fact that I can't kill final bosses in the last few days, he asked Janax to make a pug raid. Following the conversation is from their comms. Hey, you do it this way, Janax, you quit the guild. 
you go to make a guild for random people for pug raids. Oh, I want to go. I just make sub guild for low tier players. Yes. Hmm. Not good, man. Who would join you? Jax, where are you? I'm at XXX. Oh, I am here. Okay. Bastard raid. Pug. Let's go. Who is bastard raid? <laughs> it is raid with both Chinese and non-Chinese people. Retard raid. I'm coming, kids, for retard raid. Ha 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 ha. Jax, your raid got wiped again? Yes, we just got wiped. Okay, you just make a raid for Chinese people. No foreigners. So that's obviously the translation titles. We don't know how accurate it is, but yeah. So if it's true, you know, that this all comes from him and he is really pissed off that he can't actually kill the bosses, you know, with his 17,000 gear score, that's kind of hilarious, right? So he's the strongest player in the game. He's spent the most money, most likely. But he's still getting whooped on and getting beat on by other people. Like, it is hilarious. So just because you spent the most does not mean that you, you know, are always going to win every content. It is 50 versus 50. These are raid battles. These are not 1v1s. And even in 1v1, there might be someone who has way more skill than the dude and can outplay him. And sure, he would need to be maybe like 13 or 14, you know, thousand gear score to have a shot at beating him. But yeah. Like, it's possible. Like, even as a 12,500 gear score person, I hit, you know, I can hit him. I can do damage to him. He's not invincible like we thought before. He has died. It just does take some focus. It does take some teamwork. And if his team, his guild, does not have teamwork, they are going to end up actually losing a lot more. So teamwork is very, very important. Then let's jump into the Discord here and talk about some of the other things. So they are doing the 50,000 Tibora giveaway from Arcworld. And this is the week two winner announcement. So this is something that I think they're also just verifying and seeing. They're like, well, we're doing all these contests and there's actually not that many winners. So it says uh, week two period, list of winners. As no one met the conditions of mission two, complete arc life, because that was literally impossible. So whoever designed this mission this achievement was a complete idiot because you could not do this mission arc life was impossible to complete before 14 days so that one was going over to the next one 50 winners were drawn this week tibora 100 per person uh so it says it looks like they just drew 50 random people for mission number three Again, no one met the conditions for this week. So the rewards and winners this week will be transferred to next week. So they're gonna roll over the rewards. For mission number four, it was supposed to draw 50 people for the winner as there was no winner last week. However, only nine people met the conditions. So 5,000 Tibora will be evenly distributed by those nine people. So each one's gonna get 550. So this is some of the data that they're also seeing and realizing like, hey, uh, no one's, doing these achievements no one's winning these no one's buying our costume boxes so something's wrong right and this also could be like that announcement they said they're going to sell a pack on the website again and a cheaper pack and sell with credit cards like that also tells me that they are realizing that the free-to-play players are not converting over to paid players they also talk about the land so this is the same announcement here just in discord format and so it's important to increase the convenience and accessibility of new users and increase the land rental activation rate. So they're not seeing enough people buy and rent land from them. So they've been trying to make things cheaper, make things more affordable, but the biggest hiccup is the price of BSLT is so high and also the fact that getting BSLT is a pain in the ass. Like doing all the crypto swaps and everything is just a disaster. So both of those things they're like okay we have to open up credit cards even though we're going to get a lot of chargebacks we have to do this because no one's really buying the bslt i mean 500 new people have bought the bslt or earned the bslt but that's not a lot like they want to go after more than just a thousand people like and i there is a bigger market than a thousand people the game definitely still feels alive and still feels like it's going on but the biggest issue is we need content we need new updates. We need new things to fight over. We need new things to craft. We need really need boats. Like boats and ocean content is the biggest thing that we need for the next, like for this week, honestly. Like if they don't drop something on Thursday and they just give us a maintenance. So we got our maintenance scheduled for Thursday. If we don't get anything on Thursday, there's gonna be a lot of people that are just like, 
all right, I'm done. Like the fatigue has set in 21 days, 22 days have passed. It's like, where's the new content? We can only do raids for so long. Uh, you know, people are at max level now. 55 is max for most people because they're not going to go and invest 50,000 Archeum and then also some Shadowgun blue crystals to make ancestral level one. So most people are hitting the pure in-game right now. Like level 55 is pure in-game for most people. And they're there. Like they can't do anything else. Like, and it's just simply raid and that's it. And the raids are, you know, not necessarily that much fun because they've been locked down. There's like three or four guilds that are definitely, you know, locking down most of the raids in most of the areas and uh, pretty much controlling most of the content. So we did touch upon this before in other videos. One guild couldn't do it, two guild couldn't, but now we got like three or four that are kind of like politics working together, locking things down. Uh, the drama is coming a little bit. You got, you got issues between the Chinese guilds. Uh, so it is, there's very clickiness, right? There's probably, probably five guilds, five groups of people that are you know, progressing at this point. So five times 50, that's about 250 players that are actually, you know, progressing. And everyone else, there's probably about 10,000 other players are not progressing and not doing anything at all. And they're just kind of like, all right, where's the new stuff? We need something else to do. You know, if we go into a raid party, we just get wiped. It's no fun. We just die. Like, we need something else. Give us something else. Or we're going to quit. And that's the point it's like so those people everyone else just pretty much if you're not having fun the whole point is you just got to quit and then that shows the game company like hey uh everyone's leaving we need to do something like asap right now they don't have any sense of urgency to update the game it seems like they don't have a sense of like oh shit, we need to do something like we told them in alpha that they needed more content they didn't give us any more content. And surprisingly, people have been fine for, you know, 18, 17 days. Like the population is still pretty strong. Like compared to alpha, the alpha population just dropped off. It went like from a thousand people down to like 50 people in like a week. So this population, it's still going really, really strong in game. But man, people are definitely, you know, quitting slowly but surely. And you're seeing that the price of the BSLT going down. BSLT price is a direct correlation to how well like the game is doing uh, because the only way that the BSLT price goes up is if people are actually buying BSLT from them and enjoy and so they, they buy it because they're enjoying the game if people aren't enjoying the game then this price goes down so the price has been going down for the last couple of days yes we've had a big whale who was strictly in here just to flip BSLT and make money you know, he was the main reason that it jumped from, you know, 70 cents up to like 90 cents. He bought 14,000 BSLT and then he sold 14,000 BSLT. So like he definitely had a big price impact on BSLT, but in general, like the price still has gone down, you know, for the last couple of days when that whale disappeared, that whale's gone, the whale's gone two days ago now. Like now everything else is just players being like, well, I don't like the game right now, so I'm going to cash out. Or I don't like the company and what they're doing, so I'm going to cash out. Or there's nothing for me to do in the game, so I'm going to cash out. You like all these things. Like so when the price goes down, this is a direct correlation to how much fun and people are having, you know, how much fun and enjoyment people are having in the game. So if people are having more fun, it's going to go up. If people are having less fun, it's going to go down. That's just what I think on this. And yeah, let me know your comment section down below. This is a crazy long video, a lot of information, a lot of uh, talking and theories on stuff here. Again, everything is all my opinion. Uh, you know, I'm just a random dude on YouTube. I don't know Jack. I have no affiliations with anyone. I am invested, but we'll talk about this. So I actually cashed out some of my BSLT and I'm planning on cashing out even more of it. So there's that 24 hour withdrawal period. So we cashed out uh, about 2000 at 53 cent BSLT because I do believe, like I said earlier in this video, that we are gonna go see about level 35 cents. So 35 cents is probably what's gonna happen in the next couple of days or weeks. Uh, that's my guess, somewhere around there. So I, I'm starting to cash out now. I'm in the process of casting out a total of 6,000 BSLT. And yeah, I'm gonna you know 
take whatever we get. If we get 55, if we get 57, if we get 59, that's great. If we get 50, it's still great. You know, I'm happy with it. Like, but I do honestly believe that I think the price of BSLT is gonna go down until we get more content in game. Once we get more content in game, then this price of BSLT will probably go back up, but we need more content and we need more people to be spending and earning, uh, you know, earning BSLT in game, spending BSLT to, you know, up, improve their character and progress their character. And the, the reason that you do that is like, there's gotta be content for you to do. Right now, no one needs to be 17,000 gear score. Like being 17,000 gear score is overkill. Like you can kill the raid bosses as a 12,000 or as 11,000 or as a 10,000. Like you don't need to be 17,000. And being 17,000 doesn't mean that you killed the bosses like any more or any faster. Uh, yes, it makes it harder for other people to kill you, but you still can die and you still are losing as we see in that Reddit thread where he was complaining about, you know, pug guilds and things like that. So anyway, guys, this is it. This is it for the BSLT update today. This was a long one. I uh, appreciate it if you are still here. Thank you. Hit that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, what is the next steps that needs to be going on? Are you excited for the credit card transactions and the sales? Are you excited for the land airdrop that they're going to be doing? Something like this. So this this land thing is very, very crazy. We didn't even talk about that, but we'll talk about that in the next